the West Virginia primary just around the corner, Secretary Hillary Clinton is being clobbered for comments she made two months ago. Clinton said the coal industry would go out of business if she becomes president. Now, Clinton is getting clobbered despite the fact months earlier in November she unveiled an extensive $30 billion plan to revitalize the coal communities, including providing for the training of miners. Here are Clinton's March comments now creating a huge political headache for her. I'm the only candidate which has a policy about how to bring economic opportunity using clean renewable energy as the key into coal country because we're going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. Right, Tim? And we're going to make it clear that we don't want to forget those people. Those people labored in those mines for generations, losing their health, often losing their lives, to turn on our lights and power our factories. Now we've got to move away from coal and all the other fossil fuels. But I don't want to move away from the people who did the best they could to produce the energy that we relied on. Republican West Virginia State Majority Leader Mitch Carmichael goes on the record. Nice to see you, sir. It's great to be with you this evening, and what a wonderful event. Well, it surely is a lot of people there. All right, so tell me, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the miners are mad at uh, Secretary Clinton. Um, tell me why they're mad at her. Well, you know, I don't believe they're mad. I just believe that people here want to go to work. We want to provide all of West Virginia, all of America, and frankly, the world with clean energy so that we can power America. These people want to go back to work. They don't want a government program. All right. Now, are they aware of this program that she proposed in November? Or are they just hearing this sort of the sound bite from her that the coal industry is going to go out of business? Yeah, I mean, people hear that, Greta, and you just cannot turn away from that. People realize that no matter how much she tries to walk that comment back, she wants to put these people out of work. And by the way, the people here are not just coal miners. There are a variety of industries. There's rich, poor. There's people that just want to America to be great again. That's why they're here, and they feel the energy in this crowd. And I, it's wonderful to be here. I wish everyone could feel this energy. Is the thinking of the mining industry as a whole that they don't want any help from the U.S. government whatsoever? They don't want to have any sort of job training. They don't want to have any, anything that might sort of revitalize the community. Well, I don't think anyone turns down a system, but what I would say is that's not what we want to rely on. We don't want to rely on uh, some government program to people that want to take our jobs, put us out of work, and frankly make it harder on everybody in America. We want to go to work and earn a living. Greta, there's a dignity that comes with a job beyond a paycheck. It's the ability to get up and go to work and to train your kids to do the same thing. We don't want these government programs. We want to go to work. All right. Now, now the mining industry has been hit hard. They are proud people. Yeah. They work really hard. They're really tough jobs. Do they need anything? Well, certainly. I mean, we would need, uh, you know what we need really more than anything is for people to let us work and provide clean, renewable energy. What we have with the coal industry is a beautiful resource for America. In fact, when you look at it, the, the best thing we can do to improve the condition of human life is to provide clean energy uh, and cheap and effective energy. That's what we're doing in West Virginia. We have powered the world. We have built this country. We can do it. Just allow us to work and provide America and the world the energy resource that we need. Any idea how many people in that crowd tonight, sir? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm just so excited to be here, and I wish everyone could feel the energy in this crowd. Well, um, it certainly looks like a crowd full of energy. Thank you very much for joining us.